Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a vlog style for you today. Um, I've been getting a few questions if I'm going to have any DIYs and I do have some planned. It's just so time consuming and I do apologize for that, but it just takes a long time. And like right now I'm working my full time job. Oh, I gotta get like, some out of the fridge. I'm working my full time job and I have my part time job, which is football, coffee. And football's back in season now. So yesterday I worked um, from, I got there, I left the house at like 9.30 and I worked, I didn't get home till 8.30 last night. And I did have to run a couple errands in between. But for eight Saturdays this summer, that's gonna be my schedule. I'm gonna be gone like all day. So it's just kind of hard with my day job, but I'm trying. So I got a mess here. What's happening? I'm making coffee. Oh, I know what happened. My coffee plate, it drips. And I got coffee on the bottom of this. Okay. I love this cup from FabFitFun. And I have to take my shot. I take Manjaro for my diabetes. Um, it helps control my blood sugar. I know it is also a weight loss drug. That is not the main reason it was diagnosed to me for any drama out there. Um, I am diabetic, but my doctor switched me. Anyway, we are a minute in, nobody cares. I was sent this to try. This is the brand Pison, P-I-S-E-N. This is a 65 watt fast charger. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because I did not charge my phone last night. I was so tired when I got home, I fell asleep with my phone in bed with me. So this is perfect right now. It looks like this when you get it in. It's a little heavy, I will say. I'm going to unpeel it. It has two type C and two USB, and they're USB two and one, A1, A2, C1, C2. Okay, so type A, type C chargers. This is cool because it pops out and it's great for travel. I will, if this works good, I will 100% be bringing this on my cruise. You get a type C to type C adapter cord in here. If you're not aware, type C's, although they're becoming more um, prevalent with different types, Apple products. So my iPad and my iPhone and the new, I mean, not my iPhone. I have an older iPhone. I have a 14. I think starting at the 15s, they use the type C. So my iPhone still uses whatever this, no, nope, that's the type C still uses this end. Um, which is fine, but my iPad and my iPhone use that. Um, it says on the back, it is compliant with my devices. It's a high power output of 65 watts. It's capable of quickly recharging your device. This charger utilizes gallium nitride technology, whatever that means. Um, the charger indoor enclosure is made of high quality flame retardant and fire retardant material. So it says it's a quick charger for, it lists all the I, things you can use. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna charge my phone and we're gonna see how long it takes. So I'm gonna plug it in here in the kitchen, probably just leaving it on the charger. I wonder if I can see. Yes, I am down to 20% battery. Right now it's 9.49 and we're gonna plug you in. And I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to come back. And this is the type C to type C. Let's see. Yep. Well, it's charging. So 949, I'll come back at like 10, 15, 10 o'clock and we'll see. I'll come back at 10 o'clock. So I got to run some errands. So I'll sit down and sip some coffee and then I'll come back at 10 o'clock and we'll see how much charge we have. 
Okay guys, I'm shocked. I just checked my phone. It's at 41% in 10 minutes. What? And so I plugged in my iPad, which was at 4% charge. It's at 12. So these obviously take a lot longer to charge than a, so a phone, but I had them both charged in at the same time. And my cell phone went from 20 to 41% in 10 minutes. I do recommend. I will tell you, this is a great find. If you need a power charger that can handle multiple types of cables and charges really quickly. So I'm super excited to have this in my arsenal of YouTubing. All right, we have errands to run. Let's get on it. Okay guys, I did a thing. I crocheted this vest with this blue color. I just wanted to try. And I think it worked out well. I think this is the back, though. Um, it's just one big granny square, right? And then I did pink around the seams and at the top uh, and at the bottom. And I just think it's adorable. So I went to Old Navy to get a shirt to wear under it. And I think this is perfect to wear underneath this super cute vest that I made. Yes, I probably should have like gone in on the armholes, but honestly, I don't care. I love it. It's super comfy and I made it. I don't have a pattern. I just made a big granny square. That's it. I'm wearing shorts right now because it's hot. But I'm very grandma vintage right now and I love it. All right, back to work. Okay, guys, we're going to find the cats. This is my air filter. Uh, well, there's one of them. This is Wellington. Let's go around this way. I don't want to wake him up. He's sleeping in his house. <laughs> and then, oh, see, Alex hears me talking. <laughs> And he's over here sleeping in the bed. Oh, I know, baby. He doesn't fit in either one, really. Yes, Trunker. But he certainly does not go into the bed. Oh, here's my plants I will show you. I just um, added this. It's a, it's a type of monster. I can't remember the name of it. But I added a moss pole. This is one that I replanted over the summer. He needs a trim. My wandering dude is out of control, and I love it. This started from a little tiny cutting that I got from my neighbor. The one downside is it's so fragile when I move it, it just starts breaking. It needs a haircut as well. These are some new ones I got this summer. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're pink. This one, I just keep pinching back to try to make it more of a bush. So I'll show you what I do. I come down here and I just snip it off right there. And the same thing over here, like that is already been cut back. But if I cut them down more, it forces more growth down here a cacti of some variety this one is i don't know it's dying i it's in the wrong soil it's a disaster we're gonna ignore it oh there's my stained glass windows of wellington and alex that my sister-in-law had made and this one here is looking good i do need to oh, actually i'll just do it while we're here Ugh. i turn them around Ah, there we go. Just to get the, the sun to either side. Hi, Alex. You're so pretty. And then we'll go see the other one. Okay, over here. Christmas cactus. Uh, or Thanksgiving cactus, whatever we're calling this. I do need to dust them. And they need a little bit of fertilizer. But these will bloom this winter. And then my Monstera. Holy macaroni. Got an upgraded pot. It wasn't, it was okay in the smaller pot, but it was starting to tip. And then my two spider plants, another pothos. 
This one here is a cutting from my snake plant. This piece broke off, so I just shoved it in some soil, and now we have babies, some cactus, and then my giant pothos here, which I need to figure out um, some fertilizer for these pothos. And get them, I need to get some more soil in that one too. Yeah, that's all my plants. And eventually, when winter time comes, they'll all live back here in this corner. I have, I'll move that rack and I will probably order another one of these and put it over here for the plants that are out front because these seem to be doing well where they're at. Ooh. Here's another yellow. So I was reading up on the pothos that this yellowing is not necessarily due to overwatering, but lack of nutrition. So I need to, I need to get the plants some better food. And this one here, I don't know what its problem is. It doesn't like anything. Here, I'll turn it around. But yeah. And then I will use my winter lamp over there on all these plants this winter but this oh this monstera i'm dying it's doing so good and i'm trying to get the babies to grow so i can replant them and bring them into work typically i would cut the babies off just because i don't need them but yeah all right that's all the plant life let's go to the pool rode my bike up i am at the pool which does need a little bit of dirty removal. But it is September 1st, it is 86 degrees, and we are going swimming today. Hey guys, we're gonna finish up this vlog by doing a little crafty project. I showed you all of this pompous grass and I'm going to seed it inside of here, but I want to cover this. But what I don't want to do is purchase a ton of filler. So we're going to use ribbon because that's how I roll. So I grabbed a bunch of burlap, but these, this is too short, too tall. So those are out. But I found this and that is almost a perfect height. And then I have some green to accent it with. I'm not making this its own video because honestly, it's so easy. We are just going to measure around. It's gonna go on the inside, but we need to measure around the outside, right? Very simply. And cut through. And we're taping this in because it's going to get changed probably for Christmas. And this is, I don't know, I know it was given to me. Seven and a half inch wide ribbon. If you're looking to find some ribbon for that jar that I got at the Dollar Tree in the five, it was five dollars. Ooh. Um, seven and a half by 18 feet. So it's the seven and a half that you want. I don't know where it came from. Maybe... Michael's or Hobby Lobby, uh, my coworker gave it to me. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here, which you can. And then I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's just some green. You can do whatever color you want. You can fill these too, like coffee maybe. That will happen over the summer. I'll get some clearance coffee beans somewhere and fill it up with that. All right, so. And I'm just measuring this the length. That's it. And it doesn't really even have to be perfect. And you do not want to be using your sewing scissors here, guys. There's wire in this one. This one doesn't, the orange is not. That's a surged edge. This is wire edged. Just as a heads up. And then we're going to figure out the middle-ish, I'm not overly concerned. But if you just fold that in half, now I can see my middle line. I can say, okay, well that's gonna go at about there, right? Perfect. And then 
I will, let's put it up here for the first one. Just a touch of glue, just to make sure it doesn't go. There you go. I want it tacked down. But I think the best way to do this is just put a little dollop on here. And that way I know I'm not getting an overabundance. If you don't have a hot glue gun, just use regular glue. Use double stick tape, use nothing. I'm the crazy person in this project that wants to glue this down so it doesn't ooh, move. But just be careful because hot glue is, well, hot. And we don't go burning ourselves. Okay, I think that's it. I could hot glue this into the jar, but we're not gonna do that. Because if we're all remembering, our hot glue doesn't really stick to glass, uh, but it will tack it. But I'm not doing that. Oh, there goes my dryer. It is Labor Day right now. Okay. And then I just have some sco scotch tape. Right? Because that's how we roll around here. And we're going to do this. I literally just want to put it inside this jar. Right? Let me get this right in the center, and I just want it to stick. Okay, well, first and foremost, I don't even have to tape it. That's beautiful. But it's in there. What I don't like is the back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get my rotary cutter. Now I have two, three, maybe more, who knows. But... This is the one I use on um, craft stuff. All right, got that. It was just a little large in there and I would like a clean edge. Okay. Right? And if I do it the right way, I want this to line up properly. Let's do this. Let's get crazy. We are going to tidy this up, this edge. because I have extra room the way I cut it. And again, if you don't have hot glue, just use tape or regular glue. If you use regular glue, you'll just wanna get some like clamps or paper clips or binder clips or some such shenanigans to hold it in place. But I don't need to do that, right? Right. So then I'm gonna say, okay, I want you open, got it open. And it doesn't have to be super tight up against here because um, this is uh, the jar that's going on the inside is small. But what I will do is come on to the inside here and I'm just taping it, guys. This is like as rudimentary as we get, right? And I'm just lining it up. So it's straight up and down, turning it over, going inside and doing a quick bit of taping. I could hot glue it too, but I don't think that's quite necessary. This is not gonna get any, oops, sorry, any type of use. It's just going to sit in there until I take it out. Right? Right. 
Let's get the middle. There we go. Probably should have used some better tape than scotch tape, but whatever. And we're just gonna sit this in here. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And then this will be the back side, of course, so it will be away from where people actually see anything. Okay, that's it. That is it. And then what I'll do is drop the um, vase down inside and then I'll show you what it looks like finished. That's the back, by the way. There's that little piece of tape. And if I really wanted to, I could put something on the outside of this as well, but I think I'm good. We will, um, I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, that's what it's gonna look like. I wanna get some more filler greenery, I think, or some more like floral. But I love that for fall. I think that is going to be perfect on this table, except for when I'm filming and then it's gonna have to go away. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Talk to you later. Bye.